Hello everybody and welcome to my video tutorial on how to create sprite battles. Alright, let's get started. First, you want to make sure you have sprite sheets to do this. If you don't have sprite sheets, then you can go to this website, Sprite Database, and you can just Google that and you'll find it. It's the first link. And they have tons of sprite sheets, sprite backgrounds, and everything you need for making one. Here, alright, for example, we'll go to the DS section. And we'll go down to Jump Ultimate Stars. To do this, and you get your sprite sheet, you want to open up the sprite and then save the target as and then save it to a folder on your documents so I'll save that and then once you have a sprite sheet we can get started Alright, next you want to open four paint windows up. Two for your animation and two for your sheets. Or if you're only doing one sprite sheet, then you only need three. So we'll take this for example. Alright. And the first one, you want to open up. Actually, you just want a background. Because that's what your sprite your sprite's going to be animated on then in the other one you want to keep it the same then you want your other sprite background to be the same so once you have a background save it to your computer and we'll name it put it in your documents and name it BG for background. Hold on a second here. And once you have that down, open it up so that you have two of them. And here we go. Alright, then you want to open a sprite sheet up. And my personal favorite are the Naruto sprite sheets from the hit anime. And I have them saved in a folder. So I will use one of them. Speaking of which. And here we go. And then for this, you want to put your selection tool on and paint. And select one of the sprites and copy it. Then in your background, you can paste it. And since the background is still visible, you want to make your background color by right clicking on that color. And then it disappears and then you have your sprite next you would save this in an animation folder so we'll make a new folder name it animation open it up and save this as number one then in your next background sheet you want to open up the next sprite you would be using so I'll use this one and I'll make it transparent and then you want to pinpoint where your other sprite is from your last frame so that you can make this one so, so that it's not off centered and it doesn't look stupid when you make it so you see how he's in the same place at the same time 
and that's what how you animate it. And then you'd save this to in your um, animation folder, which I cannot seem to find. All right, in your animation folder, you'd see this is two, and then you'd see your animation, and you'd open your number one up and just open the background sheet again so that you can uh, make another frame and then you take the next one and select it and pinpoint that save as three and then that's how you do it you just keep animating your sprites until eventually you've had how much time you want but let me warn you this takes a lot of patience because so there's so many frames you have to do so many pictures in paint you have to make so you really have to be dedicated to this to do it and once you're done with your whole thing or if you just want to preview what you have so far you can close down the sheets or you can keep them in, and then to Windows Movie Maker and wait for this to load up here and I have an example sprite sheet um, sprite battle that I'm working on right here and I'll show you what I have so far of it and it's just previewing what you have in your battle so you, you import all the pictures by going to file, import, and then your animation folder has your whichever um, sprite, the frames in it that are numbered, and you would select it, and then, or select as many as you want to import, and then once you import them, they're all there. Then you want to go to Tools, Options, Advanced. And then you want to go to your picture duration. And usually it'll be up here at 5 seconds. And you want to make sure that it's all the way down as far as it can go to 0.125 seconds. And you click OK. Then once you've done that, you select all of your sprite frames and you drag them to the timeline. and now you have your animation in a video form so you can preview what it looks like in the preview window which is not working for me right now but that's how you do it and then once you have all your frames and your whole video is ready you want to go to you want to go to file say movie file and then once you do that you can name your video go next then you name your video say sprite movie and you can put it in your video folder and then so forth and that's how you make a sprite movie